Okay, here we are, Labor Day weekend. And Saturday morning, we are kicking off this project. So, first thing I'm gonna do is get her stripped down. So it's just basically the, uh, the core body on the rotisserie. So the first thing I'm gonna do is drop out the exhaust system and disconnect the brake lines, disconnect the emergency cable, disconnect everything that's necessary to take the front subframe assembly, unbolt it from the chassis, roll it away, and I will tuck it away in the backyard. So I'm looking at there's a little bit of rust, um, not nearly as bad as the back of the car. You can tell with some of the damage here that it's it's been in a few fender benders, but nothing nothing super bad to compromise the integrity of the uh, of the core body up here at the frame mounts. So. I'm trusting that this frame is straight right now. <laughs> um, I don't have any indications to tell me that it isn't. So, um, yeah, you can see right here. Yeah, there's a little bit, a little bit of dings and dents and ripples from previous body and fender guys trying to straighten things. Looking back here, actually. You know, I think that is damage from somebody beating it in with a hammer. It kind of has a hammer look to it. Not sure why somebody would do that, but maybe because they felt like they need more clearance on this distributor cap or something. But uh, either way, um, I'll probably pop off the distributor cap just to be safe so I don't damage it when I'm separating the chassis from the body. So, so I'll drain the water, disconnect everything that's connecting from the body to the chassis, separate the front half, then I'll come to the back half. And uh, these leaf springs sure are rusty. But uh, Bob's going to work with that. We're, once we get all this cleaned up under here, get some new sheet metal under this thing, new rocker panels. We're going to do the rocker panels too, which I'm grateful for him deciding to do that. Um, I'll actually probably end up cutting the bottom of these quarter panels off, and I'll make patch panels and I'll seam it when I'm done. I'll probably have a seam right here. Um, but that way we'll have a nice clean seam down at the bottom the way it's supposed to be. And then uh, obviously this uh, <laughs> it's a little fin here. It's almost like a fin on a surfboard. Um, that's not supposed to be there. But we'll be able to cut all that away when we put the new sheet metal. There's all new sheet metal going in underneath this thing. So I'll be able to slice this section here and um, re-graft it back in together. If I'm not mistaken, I need to research this, but I think there's supposed to be bumper brackets on the ends here. And I think they probably welded them up, filled them in because they couldn't put the brackets on. So, like I said, I'll investigate that. If the brackets are supposed to be there, we'll get them. We'll put them back in place. It'll also help me establish the proper uh, dimensions for the quarter panels, because right now they're bulging out, which would be cool if they're bulging out for the fenders, um, for the tires, you know, kind of like a Trans Am car, but that's not the case. So anyway, 
I just wanted to do a quick video of what my plans are, what I'm doing, and hopefully by the end of this Labor Day weekend, this thing will be completely stripped down, and I'll start to remove the whole inside section of the car, floorboard from trunk to firewall, and then I'll cut off the uh, rocker panels, and out here, this is why I got to buy another truck. I had to use Mama's car this morning to uh, to buy a whole bunch of 095 inch and a half by inch and a half square tubing. And the purpose in that is when this thing is up on the rotisserie, I'm actually going to manufacture um, my own jig. And uh, I have my trusty factory 69 Camaro, but it also, um, the dimensions are going to carry over on many of the components for the core body. And uh, that's going to help me make sure that I get uh, my jig uh, assembled properly and uh, put in place. So that way this thing will be within factory specs on all aspects. So that's it. I'll check in with you all in about two and a half days. Bye.